Hi guys, it's me and welcome back. Today's video is going to be more beauty related. I somehow became subscribed to this uh, group, I guess you could call it, called Beauty Junkies. Beauty, J-U-N-K-E-E-S on Amazon. And then they had sent out, pro you get promo codes every once in a while to try out certain products and then give your honest review on it. So I ended up with a cute uh, code and was able to get three makeup brushes. So they just came in the mail, so I thought I would um, kind of do like an unboxing or whatever on them. And then give you the kind of the rundown on what they say about them, etc. So let's see if I can open the email. Once it was shipped, then I got an email specifically, three separate emails, one each one geared towards each item I got. So I just want to make sure I open up the correct uh, email before opening up each one. Okay. So, open, open, open. Okay. So the first one we have here is the uh, round top kabuki makeup brush and we'll go ahead and we will open these now maybe we won't these I don't have a these are kind of perforated to open but this one is not um, okay use my teeth so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna open this one up it was not only sealed type but then it also had like clasp top here <laughs> go ahead and take it out Come it has this nice protective can uh, cover on it. Nice fat handle. Come on. Come on. There we go. Alright. Oh, so it's super soft. It's it feels very dense. There is what it looks like. And again, this is the oh it says right on there. That's nice. Wrong kabuki. So I didn't even have to try and read the thing. So that is what it looks like in comparison to my hand. You can kind of see it. And in the email it says, Though the wrong kabuki can be used with any type of foundation, liquid, mineral, cream, powder, or mousse, it's most commonly used with mineral makeup for all over the face application or with blush or bronzer to buff out over the contours of your face. Um, and then it kind of gives you like how they suggest that you use it or whatnot. Now, I do not have mineral makeup, so what I probably will definitely use this for is probably going to be for either my highlighter or my blush or maybe uh, for setting powder. We shall, we shall see. The next one we are going to go for is the Tapered Kabuki Brush. And that is this one here. We will go ahead and we will open that. I definitely like how it's packaged because you know that nobody you know, has gotten their grubby paws on it. This really sticks on here, though. Holy tablet. Alright, so we have, what did I call it? Say this is the Taper Kabuki. So, here is what it looks like. Again, very soft. Very, very soft. Wow. That's so soft. Okay, and it says in this email, <sighs> for applying concealer or highlight, highlighting around the eye. And then it gives you tips on how to do that. Now, let's see, we'll take off my glasses. I definitely probably use it for a highlight. I might use it for, um, if I'm using concealer, to kind of set my concealer. I don't know so much that because of how white, how fat this is, if I would use it just to apply my concealer. Um, it's super soft on the face, so holy cow. Wow. Okay, so that is the tapered kabuki. Very nice. And, of course, the last thing we have here is our flat angled kabuki. So I'm super excited. I don't have, I just have basic run-of-the-mill brushes right now. So I'm super excited to give these guys a try and see how I feel about them. So here is what it looks like. It's just obviously angled, flat on top, still again very dense, nice 
size here. It says, Flat Angle Kabuki is truly a multifunctional addition to your makeup kit. It can be used with any type of foundation for all over face application or blush or bronzer to blush, to, bluff, to buff over the contours of your face. So, this one I'm super excited with. I'm going to try, look how thin that is, can you see? I'm going to, um, right now I use the Beauty Blender to apply my foundation. I am definitely going to try this though and see, you know, how it works. Like I said, super soft. Holy Toledo. So, that was the Flat Angle Kabuki. So here are, and you know, I'm noticing like there's no, usually like when I buy brushes, there's at least a few bristles that are kind of, straggly but these these are not having it so here is the set that I that I got super duper excited to try them we got the angle flat top we've got the tapered and then the flat top kabuki and again these are by beauty junkie I will try to uh, I like on the back it tells you how to clean them and all that good stuff too so I will uh, try to leave a link down below. I th think, I, I hate to even say this in a video and find out that I'm wrong, but I'm going to say it anyway. I think you have to be invited. I don't really know how I got involved. But if it is that type of thing, I will see. I mean, go to beautyjunkies.com and find out more, I guess, um, about it. And... Um, if I can find out any more information and I get a chance, I will go ahead and leave. If there's like a, a joining link or something, I'll put that down below. But these are my three brushes. Um, this is the end of April. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give these a good few weeks of trying. And so then I will post another video about that. Um, the only thing I know that they do ask is after you have tried these out for a while to go ahead on it. Because these came off of Amazon, their thing on Amazon, is to go and give an honest review on Amazon. So I'm definitely you know, going to try these out for a few weeks. And I, I'm just so impressed with how soft they are. Holy Toledo. I wonder if these say what they're made out of. Does it, does it, does it, does it? It does it at least not in this particular email that I am looking at let me they say they're vegan high quality blending and contouring vegan makeup brush with dense synthetic oh I think it's synthetic fibers sorry I'm waiting for it to load my glasses back on. Uh, da, 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 dense synthetic br bristles that do not shed. Tested by professionals. Alright, so yeah, they are synthetic. Super awesome though. Um, and I believe they retail each for eleven ninety seven a piece as well, in case you wanted to know. Um I again this this video is so scattered, I'm so sorry. I will be trying these out for the next few weeks, so end of May, probably, I would look for a video review on these products. I really want to give them a try, and I don't wear makeup every day, so it's not like I can get back to you in a week, because, well, for one, it's Thursday, and, you know, it's not like I'm going to know by tomorrow. So, look for these mid to end of May review, video review. 